What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and we're here today once again at the Nerd Castle. I'm happy to see you all for another episode of Dawn of War Dose. Now, in the last episode, the Tyranid infestation had showed up and this little bar is going to determine how well we are doing at holding our homeworld. This nasty little green slime that's spreading out everywhere is the Nid Swarm that we're going to have to deal with as time goes along. But for the time being, we've actually got to focus on getting Commander Thule taken care of. I think we're acting commander right now. They didn't specifically say, guess what, you're the commander of the Blood Ravens, but I'm assuming that we are. Now we've got to go back to Typhon, so let's Typhon our way back to Typhon. Commander, with your permission, I will attempt to raise the nearest of our chapter fleets. This may take some time, however. In the meantime, we need to secure Typhon before the rest of the Tyranid Swarm arrives. Otherwise, our supply lines will be devastated. There is an Eldar raiding party that continues to wreak havoc on our defenses on Typhon. We should return to Typhon and eliminate those Eldar. Alright, I like how it doesn't say that there's like a mission, we don't get anything for this mission. It's just like, listen, accomplishing this goal, it keeps the subsector safe, and guess what? Smiles and emoticons, it secures the future of the Blood Ravens. That's kind of funny, where they usually put the quest reward, it's just like, listen, it's, it's a moral victory as well as a strategic victory. Do you really need more treasure? Let's jump into our sector map and we'll head on back to Typhon. So here we go, back through the Purple Tinglys. Our ship seems to be sort of lopsided, but I guess in space that doesn't really matter. It definitely seems to be a little back heavy. And here we are. So we've got this target to take out. That's going to allow us to uh, engage with our first Imperial Shrine, it actually looks like. Here's your briefing. Commander, we have located the Eldar raiding party that threatens our supply lines between Typhon and Calderas. We have identified their leader as the dangerous Ranger Nemerian. He is apparently coming from an operation in Orc territory. This is our chance to cripple Eldar operations on Typhon. We may also uncover more of the Eldar's plans. I suggest we neutralize him immediately, Commander. Alrighty, well... Part of me is tempted to bring Thaddeus along. But... Let me see here. Who would I leave behind to bring Thaddeus with us? I can drop my suppression. That's like, I think Avatus would be the only person that would really swap out. And it looks like I'm trading... Yeah, we're trading 28 melee damage for 120-something. Yeah, 120 range damage. I'm going to leave him out for right now, and maybe we'll use him for defense missions from here on out, and we'll just have him jump in and out of defense missions to level up. Let's go ahead and go into the Eyes of the Eldar and deploy. We've got to destroy the webway gates, it looks like here. So this is one of those missions where I feel like they're probably going to be flooding through these gates as long as the gates are left open. It's going to be something we're going to have to deal with. Which makes it a little bit of a race. I think I remember this mission. I don't entirely recall, though. I vaguely remember a mission with webgapes being like a little bit of a frustration, having a little bit of a problem with it. Eldar warriors we'll find out as we go along. The target commander. They hope to cover his escape, no doubt. This we cannot allow. Well, first things first, we got to get to this shrine of the emperor. We're definitely going to take that. Let's pop open some of these crates, though. I think we're going to need all the supplies that we can get our hands on. There we go. Just got to sort through the Space Marine porn to get to all the good stuff like the med kits. There we go. Come on. I'll click it as many times as it takes. Alright, so we're now locked and loaded from there. Maybe send these guys on in over here. Grab those. And it looks like we're full up. So we'll leave that back where it is. And then let me... Oh, it looks like we've already got some Eldar up in our business. Maybe... I don't see any cover that's close enough to make this a worthwhile venture. Maybe set them up right there. And set out this way, possibly? Wow, we just got sniped. We just got a snippied. Maybe knock them out of cover with the Force Commander. Let me get the scouts into position, too. And off goes the gunfire. Let's see if I can flush them out, possibly. Oh, and we got sniped from the building up there. That's fun. Well, that did draw out the rest of their troops, though, so maybe we'll deal with that. Oop, get out of there. Everybody out. This guy in the back. Oh, he got away. Cool. Get back into cover. There we go. And then what I'll do is I will drop them into this cover, and then they'll huck a grenade. God. Getting sniped is no fun. Isn't that the worst feeling ever, like in any video game, though? I hate getting sniped. I think everybody does. 
a symptom of the shooter. Getting sniped is just deeply upsetting. Well, since that used up a grenade, I'll bust that box open and we'll get our grenade back. Take cover, gents. They have absolutely no cover, so they should just get cut down right here. Maybe I'll send Force Commander up in there. Avatus has no real cover. Maybe he can make the shot from there, but it's difficult to say. Maybe he have the... Eh, there's not a lot of cover. I simply do not have the cover to move anybody other than Avatus forward, so I guess the Force Commander and Tarkus. I'm sorry, I didn't have enough to move anybody other than Tarkus forward. But they should be able to clear him out now that the Force Commander's done. This building is unoccupied, and they are completely and totally exposed now. Down they... Oh no! Grenade! Well then. My terrible commanding is coming home to roost. Like a big, nasty chicken of space marine death. Roosting like crazy. Let me get my scouts in here, and we're gonna stealth our way up over the hill, see if anything's waiting for us on the other side of here. Meanwhile, we'll work everybody else kind of halfway up the hill, just so they can respond if they need to. Get them stealthed out, and we'll sneak along. I don't know if I could take shots from this ridge, but that's what I was do. That's what I would do if I was commanding. But my guess is that this probably provides no cover. Looks like we got a pretty good gathering over here. Some howling banshees. They're gonna charge us. So force commander's got to go in first. Actually, let's get the tackies in here with them. It looks like a good spot for Avatus, and Force Commander is going to need to be in here like right now. Let's see if we can suppress them before anything else goes wrong. And I deeply need a Force Commander charge here. Yeah, they just jump straight into our center. God <laughs> damn banshees. Their crazy ginger hair. Although that's like over the top like fruit roll up hair. Let's get them out of here. There we go. Everybody get back into cover. It's weird how they don't retake. I wish that they kind of rubber banded back to their position after being knocked out of cover, but they seem to run out and just kind of engage whenever they lose their cover. They just seem to give up on it. Let's take Cyrus and his little goons down in here and see if we can find anything else. So we got a pretty good deal of Eldar down in here, but nothing that I don't think Tarkus and the Force Commander can't handle. That's going to leave one guy out of cover, unfortunately. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Get them into cover. And that's about the best I'm going to be able to do for now. He's going to charge. And unfortunately, he ran into the wall there. And that's going to be that for the Force Commander's charge. Let me put him... Oh, he doesn't have the ability right now. He's actually out of energy. There we go. We'll put him into hero mode. Got a warp spider right there dealing a little bit of damage. And Leomon is getting chewed up. We might consider moving everybody else forward. Let's get the Force Commander healed. And I'm going to pull him back just momentarily. This is a dangerous position to be in. There are not a lot of spots for us to sneak into. Almost got people out of the way there, but... Charge that one more time to break that line. We'll use another med kit if we need to. Get them into cover, maybe flank just a tad. And I would love this position right here, but I just don't think it's going to be available. God, did they just decide to screw me on cover here? This is getting a little ridiculous. The utter lack of cover in this position is just horrible. Let's put him maybe into suppression mode. I don't know. There is just, we're standing out in the middle of the open right now. Luckily, we'll be able to replenish over here. Let me get, now that Tarkus is back in position, there's only a little bit left to deal with. We'll move them forward. We'll be, be aggressive here. To quote the old chant. He's going to run away. No, he's going to get sniped. That works out fine. Have them destroy these crates while we're on the job. Where is it? There it is. We'll grab that, and that'll restore some med kits, hopefully. And as soon as Tarkus gets his boys replenished... Field generators are deploying now, Commander. Additional generators will not be available until your next deployment. We'll have Avatus go to there, Tarkus go to there, Scouts go to there, Force Commander run out to here, and then we should be ultra magical, maybe. But not not witchcraft, that's heresy. We don't want the Emperor coming down on us like a ton of bricks. And there's a few more of their banshees up there. I would prefer to bait those out. 
There is really good cover right here, though, for once. Let's see if we can get that warp spider's just gonna follow us all the way back in. It's a ruse! It's a clever ruse! That's what you get, warp spider. That is what you get. Well, let's move the tackies forward. And then we'll have the force commander cover them. Scouts will move in over there. And we're just gonna have him draw fire for now. Superior power armor. Unfortunately, we don't need that at all. We're we being flanked on the left. I have a horrible feeling that they're gonna come up on the left. Force commander's overextending like he tends to do. Let's draw back and see if we can bait these guys back into our lines of fire. Avatus, take this corner. I don't know. There we go. And then they should just get butchered while they stand out here in the open. Meanwhile, there's a CP right there that I would consider taking. The tactical squad doesn't have a lot of cover over here, but we'll give them something. We'll move the scouts forward as best they can be moved forward. Have him do a little bit of Eldar bowling. Raven's barding a flight there. Check that out after the mission's over. Make sure that it's a better panoply than we're already wearing. It's a great word. They used to always say it in church. That's where I remember it from. People used to use the word panoply all the time. And I don't think I want to take this bridge. There is a CP on the other side, but I'm going to take this CP over here first. Snipers, you want to kind of do your thing and handle him? He's got no cover. You can do it, I promise. Down he goes. There we go. Skinny little bugger get blasted. Now... Let me see what's going on over here. Let me take my scouts. We're going to take a look around. And let me shift my battle group here to kind of face that direction, even though they've got no cover. And we're going to try and knock over this CP before we go any further. Ah, there it is. All right, so let me see if I can blow this thing up right now before we go any further. They do have banshees here. Well... The lack of cover right here is really, really unnerving. This is Maybe bring... I just don't know. Adjust your positions. I don't like that either. That's only one little bit of cover. Reposition. Reposition. I guess I'll just keep them in a pile right here, and then let's bring the Force Commander out. I could just grenade that, but the second I throw out a demolition charge, they're going to come down. These guys are going to try and melee... Ooh, really? Alright, so there goes the first... Maybe? Alright, good. These guys came up behind us, unfortunately. Let's get the Force Commander in there to kind of deal with them. Root them out like a rather nasty and stinky blackened tooth. Or a tooth, as my orcish friends would call it. We'll take that off for now. God, there is... This level is just remarkably awful for cover. Let me get the Force Commander turned around and we'll have everybody advance behind him. We would also consider possibly putting Avatus up in this location right here. We'll have Tarkus move up right there. And once they're in position right here, we'll bait these Banshees. Oh, they came up behind us over there, too. Well then, brothers. They should engage in a ring. It's kind of it's gonna be a lengthy little gunfight over here. They do have reasonably decent cover, but we have a lot better ranged attributes, so I think we'll probably be okay. You guys want to get him? There we go. And down goes the health. Maybe. There we go. Let's bait these banshees. Ooh, and there's a nade out. Let's go ahead and move. Luckily. That grenade didn't go to this building, otherwise we would have a big, big problem on our hands. Force Commander should be able to waylay them for the most part. What the hell is that and why is he running at me? Oh, that's Nemarian. Oh, Nemarian's now dead. And all this time, you might have been killing Tyranids. Wait, is the mission over? You deserve There's so much more I wanted to do. Everything that's coming to you. Okay, good. I was going to say, if the mission's already over, that's a tad depressing. Let's get the commander up here. Let's take this position. 100%. Ooh, never mind. 
Tackies, fall back. We still have a little bit of work to be done. Tackies, maybe go right there. Hope that they don't come down on you though. Oh, they came out of everywhere. And there's a grenade. Whee! All right, well, this is becoming more and more interesting by the moment. They seem to be immune to their own grenades as well. That's a little cheesy that they can just run in on their grenade. If I grenade my own guys, it seems to hurt me plenty. Let's get Avatus out of there. Let's also move the scouts forward. They'll kind of hang out with Avatus for now. They'll make friends. They'll high five. They'll check their watches while flexing. Do the whole Top Gun thing. It is what Space Marines do. There we go. All right. Well, we've got another CP over here, but I think we'll have to go around the long way to get to it. Yeah, and we've already taken the foundry, so I'm going to abandon this CP over here. We're not going to think about that one. Just because it's too far out of the way, and I don't feel like dealing with it. Tactical Marines take that spot right there. And then let's continue our forward movement. Knock them down if we can. And then scouts are going to take their position up here. We're going to kind of have to do this one in a blob. We don't really have a choice. Because there is no cover. We've just got to cross the bridge and hope for the best. Luckily, they don't seem to have fortified it so well, so we'll live with it. I don't see any fortified buildings up here, but we do have something to knock out over on this side with our scouts. Oh, everybody's got to get out of here. Run, fools. There we go. All right, we're good. That was a grenade with the potential for just heartache. Well, now that I've used up a bunch of energy just dodging a grenade. Let me have a look here. Alright, so we've got a big group right there. And seeing as we're standing on a bridge with no cover, let me move people over there. Avatus. I'm going to have Avatus move forward. For We're going to call in an airstrike on that right there. We are surrounded right now, so we'll want to be careful about that. Let's put an airstrike in right there. Hopefully it'll knock out both of those. We can't guarantee it will, but we can hope. Did it get him? Well, it kind of blew him up. Force Commander is over here taking a little bit of fire. Maybe we'll have the... Yeah, let's have the scouts secure that side. You gentlemen suppress. Suppress like the wind. Tackies, I would suggest flanking right now. But there is just simply no cover for it. Force Commander, I think, is going to be needed over here. Oh, they've been knocked out of cover. Let's get a big charge in, then. And Tactical Marines, there's just simply no space for them. We are incredibly cover light right now. You gents, give me a detonator on that spot right there. Sacrifice whatever you have to do to do it, but do it. And then fall back to your other cover. That'll at least eliminate the resistance we're feeling on that front. Why are you guys falling back again? And what is knocking us back? That is really, really irritating. You guys handle them. Force Commander's still looking pretty good. He's got a pretty beefy HP pool, so I don't have a lot to worry about there. I think it's coming from the Warp Spider, but God. That is a pretty... And I don't think this is going to end until I push forward. So let me figure out how I can push forward here. We'll have Force Commander go ahead. He's going to take as much fire as possible. We'll start throwing grenades and things at this bigger gate over here. And then a few more rounds and it should go. There it is. All right, so we've pushed forward. We've handled that. There we go. I want them right there unless there's enemies over here. And then I'm going to have them retreat like little crybabies. They are just going to flee like a dog in the summer. There we go. There goes another gate. So we've wiped out one out of four webway gates. These guys are still holding down over here the best they can. The nice thing about this is they can throw a detonator up there. And we might also... Cons oh, they actually have a shuriken cannon over there. All right. Got a carapace of purgation. Cool. I always like scout armor because it's always useful. Let me consider how we're going to get rid of this vehicle. In fact, that's why I brought the melta bombs along, so I wouldn't have to waste charges on this. It does look like we have a good group of enemies over here. Let's get rid of that shuriken. And down it goes. And then we're going to have them fall back as quickly as possible. They're going to retake their original position. Force commander still getting blasted over here. But we're going to send him in now. 
So in goes the Force Commander. Well, I had planned on taking other CPs, but unfortunately they seem to have stacked all of our objectives right here in front of us. Getting a feel for what this is going to be. All right, so I know what I want. Avatus, you're going to be up in there. Tarky's boys, I think I'm just going to send them in and we're just going to hope that this works out. Let's go ahead and throw grenades at that gate. God, that warp spider is just being a giant pain in my ass. Maybe place them right there, and that should supply them with at least... Oh, we just destroyed the cover. Well then. I'm going to pay you guys back now. That knockback, what is that coming from? I really wish I could pause the game and like look at a combat log and figure out what the hell is causing that, because it's incredibly obnoxious. Get rid of that gate. Yeah, there we go. Get these guys back in here. I mean, every time I try and step them in, they just get knocked back again. What is that? Oh, it's the Warlock. I didn't see that one in the middle of the enemy units. But we need him to go then right away. Tarkus is in position. Let's get the scouts up here too. Just to say that we did. And Avatus is going to call in another strike over there. Well, maybe. Let's see if we can... There we go. Please? Well, maybe we can't fire out of a building. Never mind. We need only a word. Be vigilant. Oh, well, there it goes. Now he does it. The Eldar know the Tyranids are coming. That explains their actions among the orcs. What do the Tyranids have to do with Eldar helping orcs? A full-fledged orc uprising could actually slow the Tyranids, Thaddeus. If the Eldar were not doing this on our own recruiting worlds, we could use the situation to our advantage. Using orcs and Eldar to stop an enemy? Why would we waste our time with that? We are space marines. We fear nothing because we are fear incarnate. We may be fear incarnate, Avatus, but we face an enemy that knows no fear. We will need every advantage we can get if we want to save the sector. Well, that was actually a reasonably short mission. I thought that was going to be a little bit more in-depth. Seems like they just... I thought there was going to be a boss fight at the end. I figured Numerian was going to be a problem for us, but that's that. Cluster mines there. All right, let's see how we did with regards to our deployments here. We did take the... We have the one foundry, so yeah, that kind of bumped us up a little bit. At least we got a speed point for once. That's pretty sweet. A little bit of extra XP there. Looks like Cyrus is going to ding on up. Included in our... Ooh, we got the Rosarius. Oh, that's what it was. I forgot about that. Okay, the Rosarius. I absolutely... It's a Paladin bubble. If you ever played World of Warcraft, that's the Paladin bubble. It's the same thing that that Orc leader used on us. Mech Bad Zappa. Now, it is a pretty useful item if you're running melee squads or if you just find yourself... The Eldar were uniting the Orcs to slow down the Tyranids. Yes. Nemerian clearly knew of the Tyranids. This explains much, but we have been getting reports of other Eldar activity in the sector that is not related to the Orcs. Clearly, the Eldar have other plans in motion, none of which can be good for us. I will keep you apprised of any further developments, Commander. What can you tell us about the Tyranids, Cyrus? The Tyranids are unlike any other threat we have faced, Targus. Orcs may operate in vast hordes, but they still have individual chieftains that unite them. Kill these chieftains, and the Orc horde is weakened and scattered. A Tyranid hive fleet, however, is a single massive organism. Every creature in the swarm is simply one part of a single terrifying mind. We cannot break the Tyranids' morale, or take advantage of their pride. We cannot make them see reason. And for every beast we kill, a million more are ready to take its place. But what do they want? The Hive devours entire worlds. Its goal is to feed itself and grow. And it will not stop until the entire galaxy is consumed. Commander, the Orcs continue to undermine our defenses on Calderas. We need to shore up these defenses if we are to have any hope of stopping the Tyranids. All right, well, it looks like they're sending us back to Calderas. Let's do our equipment thing before we break this off. Let's take a look. Tartarus. All right, so Tartarus, 
was going to go... Oh, there's a bunch of items we can kind of throw out here, though. We've got the Snarl of the Wolf. Melee damage resistance. Ooh, that one's going right there. Very cool. Unless that might be better applied. Oh, it's an Orcish. It's got, like, little stripes and stuff on it. Interesting. Well, that might be better applied to the commander, though, because he's always in melee. So maybe that's what we'll do. We'll take that one. We'll give it to the force commander. Ooh, put that back right there. No drag and drop here. Oh, it can only be used by Thaddeus. Okay. Well, then that becomes the best option for Thaddeus. I don't see myself using him in anything other than a melee regard. I'm not even positive that he can use, like, normal bolters or anything. Oh, there it is. Okay, so if I actually gave him ranged, that's an interesting concept though, taking Thaddeus and equipping him with a bolter and using him as kind of a mobile Tarkus, having him jump all over the map, flank and things of that nature. Interesting combat mechanic, something to think about. He's using the Mantle of Cronus. Let's instead give him the Merciless Truth. So there that is. That's going to give him melee skill, make him a little bit better. It doesn't actually give him the points, but it does make him a little bit better. As we go along. Now, what does he have over here? They're invulnerable after they make a jump. That's an interesting thing to think about. Power weapon aptitude. That's the other one. If we're going to use them as melee in the future for, like, defense missions and keeping bosses locked down, just kind of chain knocking them down, that would be a cool ability to have. So maybe that's what I'll do. Work him out to here so that he can use power swords and all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't know if this game has... I think I saw screenshots of guys with thunder hammers, but... You know, I don't really know. Other things to think about. I think he's about as good as he's going to be for now. Cyrus. Let's take a look at Cyrus here. Cyrus and his squad can move full speed. That's what we were working towards, I remember now. And I don't really care about anything further in this chain that I can tell. Oh, he can teleport in. Re Ooh, that's really good at the end there, but that's kind of an ultimate thing. Maybe start moving him down the power line to get him down to here so that he can use accessories without being detected. After that, we might work him into a new loadout slot and then work him down melee. So yeah, let's put the remaining point right there. Try and work him towards being able to use his accessories while stealth. That's going to be a great boon to us to try and knock out tanks, things of that nature. It makes me wonder if we actually need the artillery strike on... Avitus because we've already got two ways with our stealth troop to knock out both vehicles and buildings So maybe we'll put the signum on him so that if things get really really narnar We can drop a shield and make ourselves completely immune and impervious to all kinds of damage What can we equip on him? Well, we got superior power armor. We're gonna donate that to the librarian Armor of purgation not gonna help us mantle of Cronus So it looks like he's gonna be more or less remaining the same in between here and the next little bit of the mission Tarkus sir I'm tempted to give him the plasma gun down the line because the plasma gun is pretty bitchin'. It does 68 damage. That makes him very, very terrifying in combat. That only does 11.4. It is kind of tempting to give him a plasma gun right now. Maybe we'll do that. It looks like his support still carries bolters, so we'll at least still have a little bit of fire available. Nothing here is going to be useful for him, so what we'll do is we'll actually get rid of both of these. Just donate them to the librarian. The Neophytic Pride. Let's jump down to our scout and figure out if Neophytic... Or no, it was Carapace of Purgation that we picked up. That's pretty much the same as the armor we had for our ranged troops. It does have a higher armor value. Neophytic Pride is a lot better, though. 31 health and just range damage resistance. We'll take that one. He lost his super awesome cape, but I can live with it. And then we'll donate these two. We'll also donate... I'm always a little nervous about donating things because you can never get them back once you do. But if they're not going to be used, you might as well get rid of them. I like our loadout right now. I'm still looking at Thaddeus as kind of a defensive troop. We'll try him out in the next mission, I guess. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle for another thrilling episode of Dawn of War. is day number nine, and we get our additional deployment in the next episode. You guys have asked me to cut these a bit longer, but there is a reason why I'm not doing it. It actually makes the file sizes too large. My FRAPS files at this point are already like 80 gigs, and my render drive just can't handle like 130 gig files. That way I'm only recording like one episode a day, and then you guys will only be getting one episode a day. Which means I can't have multiple series running at the same time, so that's kind of my rationale in case you guys were wondering. Take care out there everybody, and I will see you next time.